All right. Good evening, people. Good evening. Welcome to this class. Edwin, we have Edwin, we have Jenny. Let's see. Who else? Blanca. All right, perfect. Good evening, people. I will share my screen. Let's see. Hola. Yes. All right. Hello. Hi. Who's talking right now? Let's see. I think it was Blanca, right? No le contesto mucho porque ando mal en la garganta. Oh, okay. Perfect. Don't worry. Don't okay. worry. It's okay. All right. Nice to meet you guys. Uh, we have Edwin. All right. Um, but I can see you. I want to see you. Um, Blanca, I know, right? Your situation. But what else with your classmates, right? Edwin, Jenny. Perfect. I want to know you. Hey, Jenny. How are you, Jenny? Nice to meet you. Hello, how are you? Perfect, you're fine, excellent. And Edwin, how are you, Edwin? Are you there? I'm fine. <laughs> All right, don't worry, it's okay. Hi, With teacher. This... Hi, hi, Edwin. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Perfect, I'm doing great. Thank you, Edwin. All right, hi, excellent. Hi. Thank you. Well, teacher, yeah, tell me. Uh, I'm driving. You're have... driving. All right, perfect. Don't worry. Just listen, okay? Thank you. All right, perfect. Okay. Um, I will introduce myself. How are you? I hope um, you're doing great as well. I am Beatriz Gonzalez, and I'll be your teacher in this course. All right. Um, to know a little bit more about me, um, my my academic training was in Academia Europea, also in Extensión de Idiomas US de la Universidad del Salvador. And, and I keep learning and I, and I keep trying, right? All right. I have been teaching since 2017. Um, and my objective for this course is to develop the macro skills through games um, and activities and funny activities, explaining in the best way and solving students' equations. Okay. Eh, mi objetivo es poder desarrollar las cuatro macro habilidades que son listening, speaking, um, let's see, reading, and listening, speaking, reading, and comprehension. All right. So, eh, a través de juegos, actividades, explicándoles de la mejor manera posible y solventando todas sus dudas. Okay. So I'm here and if I, if you have a doubt and you can ask me, all right? And if I don't know the answer, we, we can investigate together. Okay. Seguimos aprendiendo y, y si de, de alguna forma yo no sé la respuesta, pues vamos a investigar. All right, so um, espero que, que sea de mucho provecho este, este nuevo curso y espero que ustedes estén muy emocionados así como yo lo estoy. Una pregunta, ¿me escuchan bien? Yo sí. Oh. Yes, yes. All right, perfect, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so, welcome to pre-intermediate English class. Perfect. Let's see? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Esto va a ser en español. 
eh, por si a algunos se, se les ha olvidado, solamente vamos a, a recordar. Sobre las tareas y evaluaciones en este curso, es necesario que tengamos el 80% en las tareas y en las evaluaciones de, de la plataforma, ¿ok? Eh, las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ellas des, justo después de cada clase para que así no se vaya acumulando lo de la plataforma, ¿ok? Eh, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, eh, ya que este registro es enviado a Insaforp semanalmente. Ok, así que tratemos de siempre llevar eh, en corriente lo de la plataforma hasta viernes en la noche, pero lo mejor es que lo vayamos haciendo después de cada clase. Ok, eh, y el materia material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital. Ok. Eh, pero de igual forma tenemos todo lo que necesitamos en la plataforma. Perfect. Ok, la plataforma. El avance mínimo que se espera eh, en el curso es que en la primera semana podamos completar la sección 1 y la sección 2. Ok, en la primera semana. En la segunda semana debemos completar la tercera sección. Y tenemos un examen ahí, ¿ok? En la, en la tercera semana. Luego en la, eh, quiero, perdón, en la segunda semana. Ahora, en la tercera debemos completar la sección 4. Y el 50% de la sección 5, ¿ok? Y en la cuarta semana, la última del curso, debemos haber completado todo, ¿verdad?, y la sección 5 y es el examen final. Así que eh, por eso es bastante necesario que tengamos la plataforma puntual. Todos. Perfect. Ah, políticas de asistencia. All right. Eh, inicio de clases pues hoy, today. Y la terminación de clases es el 23 de noviembre. Con los horarios establecidos, ¿verdad? Que usted pueda entrar puntual, puede estar eh, la clase completa. Tener la cámara encendida es eh, bastante importante. Se toma muy en cuenta, ¿verdad? Y a veces hasta es mucho mejor porque nos distraemos menos. ¿Ok? Nos distraemos menos. Y la duración, pues, es de una hora. O sea, 60 minutos. Eh, trabajar ejer los ejercicios en la plataforma. Y al final de cada curso se les, se les entrega el diploma ah, por medio digital, ¿verdad? Así que también la asistencia al 80% de, de sus clases es bastante importante. Y el avance y el desarrollo de, de la plataforma. De igual forma, si usted tiene alguna duda, ahí están los, los números de, de administración que le pueden ayudar. Y si a usted tiene alguna duda, pues puede preguntarme a mí y yo cuando, cuando tenga un momento libre le puedo responder también. All right, perfect. Do you have a question so far? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta aquí? No. No. Ok, no. okay thank you. Perfect. All right. We have here with our first lesson. Please call me Beth. Okay, I want you to please um, read this, this chart. Who wants to read this? Only the, the English part, please. This one. Our lesson objective. ¿Quién puede, podría leerme, por favor, esta parte? Solamente la de inglés. Right, who wants? Who wants to participate? Let's see, let's see. Um, maybe Kevin. Kevin, how are you, Kevin? I am fine, Miss. Perfect. 
Can you please read um, this part? Of course. Yes, me. All right. In this list, lesson. Participants will learn how to intro introduce introduce themselves themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just met just met and are introducing. Uh, each other each other each other thank you kevin kevin eh, una pregunta verdad que lo nos hemos visto en, en una clase anterior y parece que en el segundo sí sí me es recuerdo de igual segundo. forma césar asensio i think ok es bueno verles acá bueno verles Okay, perfect. Um, thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Um, y también tenemos acá eh, el orden de las secciones. Okay, estamos en la sección 1. Please call me Beth. Okay. Vamos a escuchar la conversación. Eh, pongan atención y si tienen alguna pregunta, pues pueden hacérmela. All right. Hello everyone and welcome to the pre-intermediate course. This is section one. Please call me Beth. In this lesson, participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. Hi everyone, welcome to this class. We'll learn how to introduce ourselves and others. For you to learn how to do so, you need to listen to the following audio program. Remember that you may listen to the audio as many times as you need to and don't forget to practice it as well. Let's pay attention. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Son He is here. Who's Son He? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. -A. All right. Let's see. Perfect. This is our conversation. <laughs> between two people, right? Okay, uh, do you have a question for um, with, the, with the vocabulary? Do you have a question? No, okay, perfect. I need a David and Beth. I need two people, two volunteers who want to participate. Okay. Me. Perfect. Hey, Manuel. It's nice to see you again. Hi. You. <laughs> Hi. Nice <to> see you. <laughs> what a pleasure, right? Okay. Thank you, Manuel. You will be David and who wants to be Beth in order to read this conversation, please. Me. Perfect. You will be Beth. Okay. So you can start. Yeah. Hello. I'm David Garza. I am a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil, how about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. That's uh, so is Brazil. Oh, good. Son, he's here. 
Who's some here? She's my she's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and I say hello. Sorry. What's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you how do you spell that? G A R C A. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so so much. Okay. Spell right. How do you spell that? Como deletreas eso? Perfect. That's so important in order to um to say things that maybe the other person didn't understand. Algunas personas a veces como que la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Eh, no, no se puede entender de la mejor manera. Cuando ya en, una, en un escenario de la vida real, como les pasó a ellos, García o Garza, right Entonces, eh, este, esta palabrita sirve muchísimo. Cuando no, no entendamos o cómo se escribe, ¿verdad? ¿Podría deletrearlo? Ok, en, ya nosotros lo deletreamos. Ok, thank you. Okay, well done, guys. Ahora vamos a pasarnos a los statements. Así que por acá tenemos otro video en la plataforma. We have another video in order to understand better. Perfect. Car, our brother, and so. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, its, our, their. Today, we will go over the possessive adjectives. Let's listen and look at the chart. Statements with B. Possessive adjectives. Statements with B. I'm from Mexico. You're from Brazil. He's from Japan. She's a new club member. It's an exciting city. We're in the same class. They're my classmates. Contractions of B. I'm equals I am. You're equals you are. He's equals he is. She's equals she is. It's equals it is. We're equals we are. They're equals they are. Possessive adjectives. My. Your. His. Her. It's. Our. Their. I want you to pay attention to the possessives. In English, each person has its own possessive. So remember, I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, they, their. For example, we say, my family, his mother, her car, our brother, and so on. Okay. Hello, everyone. All Welcome right. to. Perfect. Okay, we have statements with B. We have I'm from Mexico. You're from Brazil. He's from Japan. She is a new club member. Okay, este, in este caso, tenemos eh, estas contracciones, pero tenemos acá cómo se escribe eh, del lado más largo, podríamos decirlo. Eh, esto se llama verb be. I am, your, his, she is. Ok, ser o estar. I am from Mexico. Soy de México. Eh, eso es ser, ¿verdad? Ser de México. But in this case, 
in this sentence, we're in the same class. Estar. Estamos en la misma clase. Okay, so we have um, three. Am, um, is, and are. Do you know when we use is? With which subject do we use is? With, she, he, and it. We use are with uh, I, no, 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 with you, we, and they, okay? So, um, for example, Jenny, Jenny, can you please read um, the first two examples? I am and your, please. Jenny, yeah, Jenny, Jasmine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can. I don't know if it's only me, but I can hear you well. Eh, no sé si los demás la pueden escuchar bien. No, tampoco. Okay. I think you're reading right now, Le right? Escucha hoy sí. Sí, 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 ahora sí. Please read it again. I am from uh, I am from Mexico. He's from member we're mm -hmm. yeah yeah continue we're in the same there they are they are my classmate thank you so much okay tenemos acá eh, con todos los sujetos verdad con eh, Con, con todos los sujetos, eh, y como les decía, ¿verdad? Tenemos las contracciones. So, repeat there. I am, I am, I am, uh -huh. and I am. I am. Your, your, you are. You are. His, <coughs> he, <coughs> he is. He is, she's. She is. It's. It is. We're. We are. They're. And they are. All right. Perfect. For example, he's from Mexico. Si ustedes notan, es como un poquito más rápido. Yeah, he is from Mexico. He's from Mexico. And it's the same thing. Solamente en contracción. So, if you want to write down these uh, examples, you can do it, right? Si ustedes quieren escribir y anotar estos ejemplos, lo pueden hacer eh, para que los puedan recordar, ¿verdad? They are from Brazil. Ellas son de Brasil. And if, if I write here, they are from Brazil. Es the same thing. Es lo mismo que escriba there con contracción y que escriba they are like this. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Or for example, oh, let's see. Acá el corrector, lo siento. Form, dice acá. Yes, from. Ok, lo siento. Acá, from. From. All right, there. She's from Italy. Ella es de Italia. Y es lo mismo que yo puedo escribir. She is. It's the same thing. Okay, so 
eh, que dijimos que era el verbi, ser o estar. Eso es lo que significa, ser o estar. Ok, perfect. We have here verbi. We have am for I. We have is for she, he, and it. And we have are for they, we, and you. Okay? For example, in the positive form, uh, let's see. Um, hey, Altagla Altagracia. How are you, Altagracia? It's really nice to see you again. Hello. 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 Um, <laughs> can you please read um, these examples? Positive. Estos. Okay. 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 I am. You are. You are. She is. She is. It is. We are. They are. They are. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, Jocelyn. Jocelyn Rivera. Thank how you. are you? Hi. Fine. I'm fine. Okay. Excellent. Good. Uh, can you please read the positive contraction? Okay, I'm your, his, she's, it's, we're, there. Okay, perfect. And we have negative. Um, Manuel, can you please read the negative form? I'm not, oh, okay. I am not, you are not. He is not, she is not, it is not, we are not, and they are not. They are not. Ok, en este, en este negativo pues es yo no soy, ¿verdad? Si acá es yo soy, acá es yo no soy. Si aquí es tú eres, acá es tú no eres. Si en este es él es, acá es él no es. Si aquí es ella es, acá en forma negativa es ella no es, eso es, it is, acá es eso no es, eh, acá es we are, somos, y acá es no somos, ellos son, they are, o ellos no son. O también podría ser yo, es, yo no estoy. El, eh, tú no estás, eh, él no está, o él, ajá, él no es, o él no está. ¿Ok? ¿Se recuerdan? Verbi es ser o estar. Ok, and we have the contraction. I'm not, you're not, he's not, she's not, it's not, we're not, and they are not. Ok, do you have a question so far? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta aquí? Ok, si, si en algún dado caso a ustedes se, se les viene a la mente, lo podemos, podemos decir, am is o I is, no. Cada sujeto tiene su, eh, su forma, su, su verbo. Ok, no puedo decir tampoco they is. They are. Okay. Perfect. For example, we have some examples here. Um, let's see. I am from El Salvador. I study French. Soy de El Salvador. Okay. I am from. You are from El Salvador. You are from Brazil. In this case, for example. You are from... United States, okay? I study French. My boss is, uh, look, is. It's, it's not my boss are. Estamos hablando en forma singular. Así como, como tenemos do and does, do, para I, you, we, and they. Así también tenemos verbi. My boss is from Japan. 
He is, he is 45 years old. Okay, él es de Japón. Él tiene 45 años. But in English, we don't say he has 45, 45 years old. We say he is 45 years old. Okay, él es de 45 años de edad. Él no tiene esos años. Él es de esos años. En, en, en español sí tiene sentido. Yo tengo tantos años, tú tienes tantos años. Pero en inglés no, no lo decimos. You have, they have. Es, he is 45 years old. Or, they are, we are. Okay. Then we have they, they are, or they are from Spain. They have a great company in the USA. They are. And they are. It's the same thing. We are from Brazil, but we live in Germany. Somos de Brasil, pero vivimos en Alemania. Vivimos en Alemania. All right. She's from Korea, but she likes to visit Italy. Ella es de Corea. Pero le gusta visitar Italia. He's from Albania. He is. Look at this. He is. From Albania. He is not from Mexico. And the other example is we're not from Peru. We're from Belize. No somos de Peru. Somos de Belize. Okay. We have here, let's see, possessive adjectives. Okay, en, en el video nos mostraban verb be, um, y también nos mostraban possessive adjectives. Solamente voy a regresar a esa. Que podamos ver, let's see, no me regreso. Okay, doesn't matter. Oh, here. Sí. Okay. Statements with B. I am from, you are, they are, and contractions and possessive adjectives. Okay, when we want to introduce ourselves, cuando queremos presentarnos a nosotros mismos, vamos a necesitar los possessive adjectives. Como, for example, um, my, your, his, here, it's, or, your, and there. Okay. Um, I want, let's see, Cesar. Hey, Cesar, how are you? How do you feel today? Hi, Miss. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. I want you to please read this, uh, this part. Right, please. What is latest? Hi. Esta parte solamente esta. Sí, es que tengo interferencia, Miss. Ah, ok. No problem, no problem. Thank you. It's ok. Vamos a esperar que, que se, le, se le pueda cargar un poquito más el Inter. ¿Ya? Uno, dos, uno, dos. ¿Me escucha? Yes. Okay, thank you. Cesar, okay, Cesar. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Okay, lo voy a leer yo. Porque no sé si creo que Cesar tiene débil su internet por el momento. Okay. Sí, sería correcto, teacher. Lo voy a leer yo. Pero okay. sería correcto que dijera, I, I, I am going to help his. Yeah, oh. uh, let's see. I am going to help him. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, perfect. Let, let's see. My classmate fixes cars. Your mom is 50 years old. And she likes to go running. His name is 
Jason. He is from, 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 from Panama. From, yeah, from. She is from Costa Rica. Her parents are from, no sé. <laughs> its see. name is Loki. Mm -hmm. It likes to eat watermelon. Our mom is sick. She got the flu. Your homework is for Friday. Their dad works in an office. In an office. Thank you so much. Um, okay, what are possessive adjectives? ¿Qué son los, los adjetivos posesivos? Okay, they are used to express or to indicate that something belongs to or it is part of something or someone belongs, pertenece algo que nos pertenece cuando queremos decir algo o expresar un, eh, algo de un objeto que nos pertenece o puede ser de alguien eh, por ejemplo, tenemos en el primer ejemplo que leyó Manuel my classmate Fixes cars. Mi, mi compañero arregla carros. ¿De quién es el compañero mío? Right? My classmate. Or if I want to say, tú, tu compañero, your, your, ok. O el compañero de él, he, his, el compañero de él, his classmate. Or she, We have possessive adjective for she, her. Her classmate. It. It's. It's classmate, for example. Just for an example. We. En este cambia, miren. Or. You can say or, or, our. Okay? It's totally okay. O our classmate, nuestro compañero, we, nuestro compañero, you en plural, no you de una persona, yo estoy hablando con alguien, sino el plural, ustedes. Por ejemplo, su classmate, your classmate. They, eh, their classmate, el compañero de ellos. Ok, de ellos. So, we have different possessive adjectives for each adjective. For if, I'm sorry, for each subject. Tenemos diferentes eh, adjetivos posesivos para cada oración. Y Manuel, eh, eh, usted decía, está bien decir, I'm going to help his. Okay, his, I think you said, his. Pero him es el, el objeto. Um, let's see, el object, adjective, mm -hmm. no es possessive adjective, es object adjective. Eso pues lo vamos a ver un poquito más adelante. Vaya, mis gracias. Ok, thank you so much. Ok, so, igual, si ustedes quieren escribir, if you want to write down this uh, subject and possessive adjectives, it would be awesome. Sería excelente. I, for I, my, for you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, our, you, your, is the same. Lo único para poder diferenciar estos dos va a ser el contexto. And they. There. Okay. So here we have, I'm sorry, I I didn't write here the country, right? Let's see. Can I cut again? From. Cut from. From, let's see, El Salvador. My classmates, 
My classmate fixes cars. Your mom is 50 years old. Your mom. And she likes to go running. Um, his name is Jason. He's from Panama. ¿Alguien que me pueda decir qué dice en esta oración en español? El nombre de él es Jason. Él es de Panamá. Él es de Panamá. Thank you. Ok. En este caso sería... Eh, let's see, el cursor acá está. Ella es de Costa Rica. Sus padres son de El Salvador. El nombre de eso puede ser un animal. Nosotros para un animal utilizamos it. So, I'm sorry. Its name is Loki. It likes to eat watermelon. Our mom is sick. She got the flu. Nuestra mamá está enferma. Ella, ella tiene gripe. Ok. Your homework is for Friday. Su tarea es para el viernes. And their dad works in an office. In an office. Ok. Um, ok. Aquí faltó la N. Let's see. Their dad works. El padre de ellos trabaja en una oficina, ¿ok? Do you have a question so far? No. Ok. Just for, for an example. Acá tengo this. Ay, se me perde. This lo utilizamos para algo que está cerca y es plural. That lo utilizamos para algo que está lejos y es singular. Perdón, los dos son singulares, ¿verdad? These, these, lo utilizamos para algo que es plural y está cerca. And those, lo utilizamos para algo que es plural, pero está lejos. Ok, these, that, these, and those. Ok, ¿por qué? Porque vamos a... A, a, a estudiar eso. Ok, here we have possessive adjectives. Ok, for example, that is her car. That is her car. Her car is black. ¿Qué podríamos decir acá? ¿Está lejos o está cerca? El celular. This. Cerca. Perfect, thank you. This, this what? This is my cell phone. This is my cell phone. Here we have, ¿está lejos o está cerca? Shoes. Están lejos y, y es plural. So we write those. Those are their shoes, for example. Esos son los zapatos de ellos. And suitcase. La maleta de viaje. This wait, is my suitcase. This is my suitcase. Or, podríamos poner también her suitcase. De ella. De ella. Okay, do you have a question so far? No? It's too easy? Easy? Okay. El otro, el otro this no lo ocupamos ahí, va. No. En este caso, for example, if we have here this. These are... Their shoes. Okay. It's totally okay. Okay. Let's see. No puedo mover esto. Okay. Perfect. Here we have some. Some families. Solo con la pronunciación, mis, eh, de esas palabritas que acabamos de ver. Mm -hmm. 
porque la primera es this y la otra es this también. Uh -huh. eh, solo que, let's see, this es más S. And this, this es más con Z. This. Dice el primero con S, Uh this, this, -huh. Uh -huh. y el otro es this. El otro es that y el otro es those, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Those. Exactly. Okay. Perfect. Here we have, for example, let's imagine that his name is a Paul. All right. Let me see. Paul and Mary are his parents. Are his parents. Los padres de él. Paul and Mary are his parents. In this case. Con nombres, ¿ok? ¿Cómo podría decir um, Mario en, en Juan, en John? Son los amigos de él. Casi similar sería entonces. Mm -hmm, exacto. How would it be? Eh, no sé los nombres, dicen Mario y Javier. Mm -hmm. Ok. Are his friends. Are his friends. Exactly. Are his friends. Okay, we have here, let's see, sisters. How would it be si les ponemos nombres a ellas? Let's see, um, Lucy and um, Martha. Are his sisters. Are his sisters. In this other example, we have boyfriend. Whose boyfriend? Imagine that is, um, let's see, John. John is her boyfriend. I'm sorry. John is her boyfriend. Okay, we have Gabriela Bukele here. How would it be? Por, como, como ustedes quieran hacer la oración, solamente utilizando here, his, um, their. ¿Cómo podría ser acá en Gabriela Bukele? No es campaña política, oigan, no vayan a creer. <laughs> How would it be? Creo que ahí sería Gabriela is mm, their daughter. Mm, in this case, no. sería, si queremos decir es su hija, sería Laila. Ajá. Laila. Ah, ah, sí. Ajá, Laila. Pensé que la niña era Gabriela. <ríe> no. Laila. Ando perdido. They are... They are Laila es su hija, right? Okay, uh -huh. it's totally okay, perfect. Mom, in this case, how would it be? Si le ponemos nombre a ella. For example, we have a lot. Um... Blanca, let's, let's name her. Blanca. No, yeah, it's her mom. Blanca is her mom. Okay. You have a question so far? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? 
ok, yo creo que el clima, ¿verdad? Nos tiene un poco callados ahí debajo de la colcha. <ríe> ya, La vamos última a ver. que he puesto, Miss, sería Blanca es la mamá de ella. Ajá, exacto. Her mom. I am. You, you are sick. Ah, yeah, you are her mom. Yeah. My you name. have a daughter. <laughs> you have a daughter. Okay, perfect. Okay, tenemos acá un ejercicio. En este caso, bueno, no lo voy a escribir. Solamente lo vamos a, lo vamos a estudiar. Um, I, my name is David Garza. Um, I am from Mexico. My family is in Mexico City. My brother, acá es, plu, es singular, I'm sorry, singular. So, we use is. My brother is. No my brother are, right? Is. A university student. His name. His name is Carlos. Carlos. Thank you. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de un, de un hombre, un niño. ¿Ok? His name is Carlos. ¿Cómo podríamos ir llenando esto? Eh, con las pistas que nos dan. Por ejemplo, acá no sabemos, ¿verdad? ¿Qué, qué prosigue? Si es de ear, hair. Pero luego nos dicen que es Carlos. So es un, es he. Así que ponemos his. En este caso decía, I am from Mexico. Family, ok, family. Si estoy hablando de mí, va a ser my. Here. Acá estoy hablando de mi hermano, ok. Mi hermano, singular, él. My brother is a university student. Ok, number two. Um, my, my name. Mm -hmm, exactly, my name is Sanji Park. ¿Por qué? Porque, ¿Cómo lo podríamos eh, dar también? ¿O saber? Um, Ajá, porque I acá am. dice I am 20 years old. Thank you. My sister, how would it be? Is a student. Is a student. Here too. Thank you. And there. My. My, right? Estamos hablando de mí. I am 20 years old. My sister. So my parents. I in Korea right now. Korea. My sister, o sea, si es mi hermana, pues sus padres van a ser mis padres, ¿verdad? So, my parents. Thank you. Number three. I am Elizabeth, but everyone, soy Elizabeth, pero todos me llaman Beth. My last name is Silvia. Mm -hmm. Silva, okay. A student. I, I, I am a student. Mm -hmm. Call, okay, call I am a student at City College. My parents is, are, 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 are on vacation. Yeah, are on vacation this week. Are on vacation this week. Okay. Thank you so much. Por qué? Por qué? Let's see. Solamente, verdad? Recordemos, I'm I am, is, and are. Is for singular, are for, for plural, and am for I. Okay. Excellent, excellent, guys. Okay, here we, here we have equations. Okay. Sorry, I think we have equations here. Give me a moment, please. Hmm. Okay, como faltan cinco minutos, it's better if I do this. Mejor si hago esto right now. Okay. Sí. 
All right, perfect. Who wants to be the first one? Tenemos acá un ejercicio siempre con is, are, and... No sé, alguien que quiera participar va a elegir un número de acá. Number four. Four. Okay. <coughs> Please answer this question. There are my grandparents. He is here. My, my, my name. Let's see. Are you sure? Let's see. My they no. Are, they no. Are. Exactly. There. 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 All right. Here. Ah, oh, let's see. This is my son. My son. Mm -hmm. His name. His name. His name. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. His name. Okay. Um. Number six. Six. Perfect. Thank you. Kevin. Please answer this. Her name. Is Her name. Okay, thank you. Who else? Who else wants to participate? Wow. Number three. Three, one. I I would just hit this one. This is my father. His name is Peter. Peter, thank you. His name. He's his name. Uy, <laughs> I just I just went back. This is my family, huh? Is it's my hair? You're there. And your family is big. You are you sure this is a family? My is family it... is big. Okay, let's see. This is a family. No, my my family is big. It's zero. There, maybe. There, yeah. yes. There. Yeah. Era, yeah. Uh, ¿verdad? La familia de ellos. Porque no decía ningún three. sujeto. Three? Okay. Three. Oh, all right. He's my cousin. Michael. Here, my... His, His name is Michael. His name, right? Thank you. His name. <laughs> What number? Number 10. Um, Ten, all right. This is my sister. Her name is Her. Lily. Her name. Thank you. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Oh. This is seven. <laughs> seven. This is my dog. It. 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 Thank you. It. Its name is Bobby. Huh? Four. 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 All right. They are my grandparents. They are Julie and Tom. Or your is their hair our? Their. Their. Your their. name. Their. Their. Los nombres de ellos. Los nombres de ellos son Julie and Tom. Two. <laughs> This is my uncle. It's, it's his name is Rob. His name it's, is Rob. Mm -hmm. And number nine, right? Nine. They are brothers. Anna is they, they. is our they. It's my they sister. They are. They are brothers. Here. Anna is there. Mm -hmm. They are sisters. Es la hermana de ellos. De ellos. Es la hermana. All right. Very good. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> ten out of ten. Do you have a question so far? No. Una pregunta. Siete ponerle lógica porque es algo un poquito confuso. Sí, sí. De hecho, let's see. Vamos a ver las respuestas de nuevo. De hecho, es eh, dependiendo del nombre que nos digan. Por ejemplo, ella es mi madre, ¿ok? Usted dice, madre es, es mujer. Así que su nombre, her name is Mary. So, um, in that case, we have to practice a, a little bit. Tenemos que practicar y aprendérnoslo. ¿Por qué no? Después no es nuestra, hasta nuestra vista se acostumbra. Ay, hair, his. Y, y lo podemos eh, 
responder rápido. Así que si, si ahorita no lo respondemos así como quisiéramos rápido, pues no hay problema. Está súper bien. Eh, ya después nuestra mente, it's getting used to that word y lo podemos hacer mejor. Nuestra mente se va acostumbrando a eso. Eh, por ejemplo, acá, they are brothers, ellos son hermanos, ¿ok? Solamente está mencionando a los hermanos, los niños, porque hermanos con, con niñas y niños es siblings. Remember that. So, Brothers solo es eh, hombres. Solo es hombres. Y hermanos con, con hermanas son siblings. Siblings. Uh -huh. So, ¿Cómo es? Perdón, teacher. Hermanos okay. y hermanas. Hermanos y hermanas are siblings. Lo voy a escribir. Siblings. Sí. Let's see, siblings. Let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Ok, siblings, 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 siblings. Y solo hermanos, niños, brothers, al igual que sisters, solo hermanas. Pero si tenemos hermanos y hermanas, son siblings. Ok, so acá nos está mencionando nada más los niños. Siblings, Paco y, y, y Juan. They are brothers. Ana is their sister. Es la hermana de ellos. Their sister. So, in that case, in order to practice, eh, pueden tomarle captura a esta, a esta imagen para que lo puedan practicar, ¿verdad? Y de igual forma, nosotros en la semana lo vamos a estar practicando. Los sujetos y cada possessive adjective de cada sujeto. All right, perfect. Time is over. Thank you so much for attending the class. Thank you so much. So, I hope you rest well. Bye-bye. Enjoy the weather. And bye. see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. 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 Rest a lot. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.